gate of freedom is open in India. In Karachi, capital of the newly created Muslim state of Pakistan, Lord Louis Mountbatten, last Viceroy of India, arrives to take part in the official end of British rule. With Lady Mountbatten, he enters government house for the ceremonies which make Pakistan a full-fledged dominion. Next to arrive is Mohammed Ali Jinnah, first Governor General. As his final official act, Lord Louis delivers a message from the King. As Lady Mountbatten and Jinnah's sister Fatima listen, the Muslim leader replies with assurances of goodwill. With these brief ceremonies is completed one of the most momentous political transitions in modern times. The new flag of Pakistan flies over a nation of more than 80 millions, the largest Muslim state in the world. India's partition is completed the following day as thousands of Hindus in New Delhi swarm the streets awaiting their hour of liberation. On this historic occasion, the first constituent assembly is addressed by Prime Minister Pandit Nehru, political leader in the fight for independence. Three hundred million Hindus enter the British Commonwealth with Lord Louis Mountbatten as their Governor General. Carefully laid plans for celebration go by the boards as delirious crowds break through police lines in a near riot that results in minor casualties. Lord Mountbatten is overwhelmingly accepted by the masses. So India, with over 380 million people and a hundred creeds, now has two flags flying. One of the Earth's ancient civilizations, her future is beset with strife, but her people are free.